Today I'm going to show you how to use the very inexpensive paints to do this watercolor painting. For our member of EnjoyingArt.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. This is the very economic paints you can pick up from the art and craft store. And let's open this. Let's take a look at inside. It came with one brush. It came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. And the colors is very, very little, very little paints. You see this is barely, probably only for one time. I'm gonna show you how to use this paint to finish a painting and make it look expensive. This is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. First, let's do a little drawing. So I'm gonna take a look at uh, the main object, the house. I'm gonna put it right here. I guess this is the peak of the rooftop. Okay, like that. And let's take a look at the angle of the side of the house. It's about this, like this. And then I'm gonna have, let me see how much on the ground. I'm gonna have the ground a little bit more. Like this is fine, like this. And the house, the roof on this side, very much this angle. And on the other side, like that, that's good. Spend enough time on the planning, especially when you're dealing with uh, a material is that very challenge. Okay. Like that. Okay. Aware of the perspective. Uh, some interesting catch the shadow right underneath here like that we do we need some masking so that we're gonna isolate some area as we are trying to figure it out when we try to paint the overall colors I'm gonna have the ground over here a little bit more interesting, a little flat like this, and have some grass on this side. Okay, that's good. And I am gonna mask this tr little tree. And there are so some uh, two railing. And one is over here, and the other one is actually come out of the shape. So I need to also mask this line like that. All right, let's do some masking. I'm going to use my art masking fruit. I'm going to use two small brushes to do the masking. So first I'm going to mask the smaller shape. So first use this, put it into, uh, get the soap into inside the brush so that would protect the sable hair. Okay, that's good enough. I'm then gonna take the, okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna 
have it from the bottom over here and coming up like this. Okay. A little bit more. And let's see. Control the thickness of the line. Okay, that's good. And some thinner line coming join the trunk over here. That's good. Like that. Okay. Here's some thinner line. Make it look interesting. Okay, have a line like this, good. I like to use the brush to apply masking food because it's very consistent how I would paint. Okay. Some Take a line, thin a line. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to use a little bit thicker brush to work into the masking the house. Now I'm going to use this a little bit slightly bigger number four sable brush. Again, prepare my brush. That's good. Now I'm gonna come in here. Masking, uh, the purpose of the masking is to isolate some uh, main objects from uh, the beginning painting process. Isolate it so they focus on the overall colors. And then later on you can working on those smaller uh, areas, uh, working on those areas a little bit more dedicatedly. Okay, that's good. Like that. There you go. Coming here. This coming down a little bit more. Okay, I already almost they get the shape. Okay. All right, now coming up here. There you go, like that. The painting on the shape of the step. That's good. Now I can mask the red. The rest of the shape. That's a skit. Now I'm going to also mask this is very small wing. Railing. Okay. Like 
that. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna let the masking fluid dry before we come back and start the painting. All right, that masking fluid is already dry. Now I'm gonna start the painting. What brush I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use my calligraphy brush. Okay, now I'm gonna start from the top from the sky. So I'm gonna pick the color and that will be the only blue color that I can use. This is pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna just put the color over here using lots of water. Take a look at some area you want to leave it uh, for the brown color. Like that, that's good. And this area is actually darker than the sky, so I'm going to just put a color in here on this side because it's going to be even darker, so I'll just paint it on top of uh, the blue color. Like that, so you can see through some of the blue sky. Okay, now coming to on this side. I leave a little bit brighter colors so that I can apply the uh, orange brown color over there. So at this point, I'm going to paint it into the ground over here. So I'm going to pick a little green color right over here. Oh, this color definitely is too much, too much green. So I'm going to mix a little bit orange color. Okay, take a little orange color here. So this color will look a little bit more um, warmer like that. Okay, a little bit green. Here you go. Like that, mix that together. There you go, that's, that's good. Now it's the good time for me to paint some orange color in the trees here. I'm gonna take the orange color to see, probably good enough. So just put it right here. I'm gonna have a little orange mixed with the yellow color. Now coming over here, I'm gonna have the side brush. Now I'm gonna just add a little color over here, change the color a little bit. As you're coming down, I'm gonna have some brown color. And I already have some brown color over here, so I'm gonna mix that a little bit with that. So feeling a little bit more brown. Like this. Here you go. Now I'm gonna get a little bit yellow. Like that. That's good. I'm gonna have some yellow green color at the bottom here. Okay, that's good. Now just on this side have a little bit more green, but need to mix with some red color because it look a little bit too bright. I want a little bit warmer green, like that, here you go. And we're gonna make some darker color on top of that. Okay, like that, have a little bit more. The green color, have a little bit more red. 
Okay, uh, in the top over here. And this also have some darker color. We'll come back a little bit later. And I'm gonna try to introduce uh, some orange color right in here. Have it come out a little bit, a couple of shape, because the color on the paper now is still a little wet. So the color can push the, uh, the other color away like this. And I'm gonna come here, have a little bit brown and plus a little yellow color. Okay, like that. I'm gonna put it right here. See the desk color is good. The sky is still wet. I'm gonna have a little bit orange color. Here you go. So the masking is a good idea to protect uh, the integrity of the house. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna mix a little uh, deeper color like orange is, and this is good. Okay, have a little orange color right over here. This see, oh, this is good. I'm gonna leave that, and uh, in the back. So I'm gonna after I had the darker color, it would show pretty well as different layers. Okay, that. Okay, now I'm gonna come into for some darker color, some deeper color. Okay, now I'll take a look what color we have. This is must be a black color. So I'm gonna take a look. The, the black color after you mix with the water, it more look like a gray color. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get the red color. and the blue color there you go then with the black color a little bit more thicker okay now i'm gonna put this color here i'm gonna take a look okay that's good like that now i'm gonna paint it into this area make it a little bit deeper there you go Oh, while well, you yeah, update have the dark color, it really make a difference. Okay. Have a little red color mixed with the black. It will look a little bit um, richer. Okay, coming over here. Now, I'm coming have some, just use the side brush so I can see it. Have some texture. Now, here you go, like this. Ready on the top. Okay, like that. That's good. Have a little bit dark color at the bottom. Here too, like that. And I can have a little color showing there is some darker branches coming up like this. Hey, that's good. Now I'm going to have a little bit thinner line. Okay, now I'm going to come here. Also, I have some dry brush. Okay, a little bit warmer. Maybe some, even some brown color. Okay, here you go. Some drier. Okay, here you go. Now I have the dry brush and compare contrast with the soft area and we create very interesting contrast. Contrast, conflict create the illusion of drama. That's very important. Now I'm gonna have some dry brush over here. Okay, like that, that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little bit color on the side over here. Uh, this color, very sticky, uh, doesn't feel like uh, normal and some shadow 
of these orange leaves, the trees. Now, okay. Now I'm gonna come in over here to have some. There you go. I'm gonna have some branches like this. Coming down a little bit thicker. There you go. Like that. Have some. That's good. Have a couple line over here for the background. Okay, that looks pretty good in the background. I'm gonna have a little bit green, but just the green is not enough, and then mix with a little bit more orange color. Okay, like that. Fill in a little bit brighter color on the side over here, that's good, like that. Okay, and have some green color, moisture a little bit over here, that's a little bit too dry. Okay, now I'm gonna look into this side. I'm gonna have some dark color, okay. Okay, now take a look here and have some, make a little gripping like that. And here you go. I'm going to have some vertical line. I focus on the contrast and the vertical line, vertical line, soft versus hard and clear versus a blur. They all contrast to each other. Okay. okay, now the background looks pretty good. And I'm gonna have some dry brush for the uh, color over here. Look like yellow, orange, maybe a little orange color with a little brown. Okay, I'm gonna have it very, very thin. Okay, like that. Let's see, very, very thin. Just have a few uh, brush here touching it like that. That's good. So thin and thick also not this set of uh, drama. Okay, that's good. Like that. I have a little bit over here too. A little bit more orange color. There you go. Okay, take a look at the foreground. Now we need to give it some more noises. I'm gonna have some yellow color over here, make this area a little bit brighter. And a little bit over here, this is still a little bit soft, so I'm gonna merge into this color to make it uh, a little bit softer edges. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have that color coming up over here. So that's good, like that, and a few color dots over here and on this side a little bit brown so I'm gonna pick the brown color here you go a little brown color have the soft edges like now here we don't need it to be so hard so make this look like shadow okay that make it softer that's good and have a few shadow feeling okay now, over here, I'm gonna also gonna have to a little catch the shadow, and but I'm gonna have a little bit more, a little bit green kind of color, so I'm gonna have that a little bit like that, that's good. Just tap on it, have a little shadow, like that. Okay, that is enough drama for the foreground. I'm gonna have a little bit red color, just on the side over here. That. 
and a little bit brighter green color. So I take the yellow and the green, mix that together. And this is much brighter. Yellow color make everything look bright. Okay, like that. That looks pretty good. Okay. And a little bit deeper color for the shadow over here. A little bit brown color. There you go. A little bit brown, like that. Make a little bit soft. Make this a little bit lighter. Lift up, some, lift up some colors. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter too. Make it the illusion of the grass, soft grass coming up. Now the painting's all dry. Now I'm gonna just come in to use my fingers to remove the masking foot layer. Also remove the masking for the little tree. Now we're gonna paint it into the details. Okay, for the tree, I'm gonna just use a little brown color, a simple brown color. Ah, here you go. I'm gonna paint it on the bottom over here, like that. Even make it a little bit more dimensional. So. I'm going to have a little bit yellow color into this brown color. A little bit too much red. Okay, just fill in a little color like that. That's good. So I create a contrast. Very nice. I'm going to make the bottom over here a little bit blue. So that it looks like some soft grass coming up and cover part of the bottom. Now let's take a look at the house. The rooftop over there I'm gonna have a little bit of this. Let's take a look at what this this looks like a purple color. So I'm gonna have some purple color on the rooftop. Maybe have a little bit blue color mixed into it. Okay. We want it to be look darker. So a little bit blue. Here you go. That's, that's good. Take a look at the root top. Like that. Make sure it's dark enough, deep enough. Like that. And maybe a little bit too bright. So we can have a little red color mix into it. Make it a little bit more gray. A little bit lighter too. Uh, now I'm gonna paint in painting the shadow area. Just take the blue color. That's good. Now I'm gonna paint the shadow color. Here you go. Right over here. Nice catch the shadow. And on this side, have some catch the shadow on the wall. So I leave some white color. Have a little bit more blue. Make it a little consistent. Like that. That's good.
That's good. I'm going to continue with this blue color for the catch the shadow. the shape on this side like that that's good I'm gonna have also have a little bit catch the shadow over here like that a little bit water a bit softer that's good a little bit softer on this side it looks like a, a little bit brown color over here too. We have a little bit light color on this side. That's good. Like that. Now I'm gonna have a little bit brown, orange color, and mix a little yellow color in here. Now a little bit blue. Okay, make a little bit kind of gray color. Now let's see this. Catch the shadow has some interesting color from warm to cool color blending in okay so this color also can apply to that and the root top also have a little bit brown color so i'm gonna have that color up here all the way to the top and also here have some brown color on the bottom right here also a little bit in the root top too it's interesting okay now I'm gonna have a little gray color and a little bit blue color in here for the windows that's good and the foot over here the foundation can show me a little bit and we're gonna paint a little windows have a little bit more greenish color have a little red make it a little bit gray Okay, I'm gonna come here this window. Okay, another one. And one over here. Now, because the brightness of those details really bring out the house as the main objects. I have a little bit window suggestions for the foundation here. Okay, just a little line over here and a couple line like that. You can, a little line like this. Now I'm gonna make this color blend it into from bright warm color, make it into a little more and more blue color. So I'm gonna have the blue color coming from the other side. Let's take a look at this blue color. Like that coming in here. So it's nice blending, nice transition right here. And also gonna have a little bit uh, detail, a little grade for the cover on the top. That color, that's good. All right, I'm gonna suggest the railing. And here you go, like that. And then have, catch the shadow of the railing coming to the other side. So this is pretty good. Uh, focus more on the color, make it look interesting. And gonna have the window. Okay, now I see a little window 
on the other side here. Like that, and can be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna just take a little black color and the top over here. I'm gonna paint around at the bottom. There's not a lot of pigment in those colors, so you need to get more pinks. And take a look here. And there is a white gap. I want to keep it. Okay, here you go. They're coming around. Just form the step. That that's good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit darker shade. I'm gonna mix with the black. And a little bit blue color. I'm gonna painting into the shadow side, some darker details. And then this window. Okay, parked up this window. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to come down to uh, form the edge on the bottom over here. Make it a little bit softer and have the little orange color. There you go. Now showing the softness of the grass covering up part of the foundation. Take away the masking to see how this painting look like. No matter what tools you have, always open your mind and have fun any way you can. <laughs>